What's up everybody, it's Elite here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do that Mario Portal meme effect. I can almost guarantee that you've seen it before. So here it is right here. Oh! Yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Premiere Pro and After Effects, mostly After Effects though. And before we get into the video, make sure to join our Discord. The link is going to be in the description and I'll put it in the comment section. And uh, also make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're a cutie. I mean, if you're not a cutie, then uh, I mean, hey, that's you. Okay, so I'm in Premiere Pro right now and I have these two uh, things right here. I have the clip that I want to use, uh, the, oh crap, it's a rat, but the clean version. Uh, and I have the Mario painting sound effect thing all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take actually i'm just gonna i'm gonna put this aside right here all right and i'm just gonna take this right here and replace it with an after effects composition so now i have this just the regular clip so i'm gonna make it so when he jumps he goes into the portal so like he goes into the portal right there all right so here's what you have to do you have to duplicate this layer go to time go to freeze frame and after you do that, uh, so basically you're just going to have this right here. It's not going to be moving. Uh, and then what you're going to do is, uh, all right, so our guy is right here. First, what we're going to do is create the portal. So in order to do that, you just have to go to solid. Just go to grid, right? Uh, add a grid. And then you want to make this a 3D layer. Go to transform. All right. So you want to match it up with the floor, essentially. Okay, uh, you're gonna match it up right with the floor. Okay, I think, I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, and then you want to delete the effects. Uh, so then you just have this, and then you want to go and add uh, radio waves effects. Okay, and then you just want to go here to the stroke and go to start with. Make that go up a little bit. Put that to like seven and and it's gonna be zero okay and then after you do that uh what you're going to do is you're going to take the solid you're going to pre-compose it uh actually we have to go back here and we have to change the color to white all right so after that uh you can kind of see it right there a little bit okay uh, layer new adjustment layer Actually, you're going to move it to the top and just turn it off. So then you're going to go to displacement map and you're going to set this to uh, the thing that we made, right? Uh, so the white solid composition and then you're going to uh, set this. Oh, it's already fine. So now you probably can't see it yet, but we have a little bit of distortion. So we're just gonna have to bump that up a little, well not a little, a lot. Um, oh, we forgot one key thing. So we're gonna have to go to uh, Gaussian Blur, put that on there, make it super blurry. Now, uh, if everything worked out well. You can kind of see a little bit of a portal here there we go there we go that's kind of what we're looking for all right so now uh, it's pretty much simple from here what you want to do is uh you want to find a point in this composition and you want to cut it cut the clip in half and then you're going to mask around him like this not too hard just mask around him so now you have this and you want to go to your mask and you want to actually i forgot one thing i have to put on freeze frame that's very important that's you right click go to time press freeze frame so then you want to go to your mask and you want to feather it a little bit not too much like that's good i think uh, and then you want to go over here, turn on motion blur, and then position. Yeah, you want to keyframe the position up. So then it's going to whoop. You know what I'm saying? So now we have this. Now in order to finish off the effect, we're going to actually make a new shape layer. So just get your pen tool and bam, boom. 
pop, 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 bam. Draw shape just like that, and you're gonna you're gonna want to go to pop of of your uh, of the clip, and then you're going to want to go to toggle switches mode and change the track mat, change the track mat to alpha inverted, right? I think in order to pull it off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to drag that on top of there, right? And then there we go. A simple, uh, simple effect. Uh, I think we can tweak it a little bit more. All right. So what we can do to tweak it is go to the keyframes, uh, highlight them, press F9, then go to the curves and. You can go to the speed curve right here, bam, uh, and then you make it just go slow and then fast. All right, now we're gonna go back to Premiere Pro. Oh! All right. Okay, we just have to time up the sound effect. Let's see. I'll start it right there. Oh! 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 oh. There's one issue. Uh, there's something over here oh. that just appears on the oh. screen. So in order to fix that, all we have to do is go back here. Let's go to right before it ends. Then duplicate this right here. And then click on freeze frame again. And now we have, uh, we have to actually mask out the part that we want. And I think we're good to go. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Like, what the heck is that? Warning the shot. Final touches. Uh, we have to add a white color mat. Right? And... Keyframe the opacity. to one on. Bam. Oh! 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 Beautiful, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Alright, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to join the Discord, like the video, and subscribe if you like this uh, content. And I'll see you guys later.